Hi, let's study string in C and stru using structured programming approach. What is a string? String is an array of characters. Any characters marked between double quotes are printed as strings. For example, welcome to C programming is an example of string. Percentage C is used to enter a single character into a variable and that variable will be declared as a character. And when the set of characters combine together, they're known as string and they'll be used a format specifier percentage S. To enter someone's name or details of a company name or address, we declare it as a string. But at present, we'll see how the characters are declared. So character string size and then we see with an example how it is done. Hash include stdio.h, hash include conio.h, main. Now here is the declaration which comes character name 12. So name is an array of the size 12 of the type character. So it can hold maximum 12 characters. Enter your name. The format specifier is percentage s. So I can enter a string with a maximum size of 12 characters. But if there's a space in between, then there it terminates. So there should not be any space over here when I'm using a character declaration and a percentage s. And I print it as the name is percentage s name. Get ch is getting a character and close. Save this program and run it. My output is enter your name and I enter Anuradha and the output is the name is Anuradha. This is how if I declare it as a character array of the size 12, I can declare it of any size and format specifies percentage s. This is how the string variable will be used. Now the size of the string variable is it takes one character less as the character is a null character that is hash that is slash zero which represents the end of a string so for character test 5 the size of my test is 5 it's an array of 5 so g o o d and the last one will be slash zero which represents a null character now reading a line of text from the keyboard we use get char now that get ch that we use for conio.h that is getting a character from the keyboard is different from this get char. This get char stands for reading a line of text from the keyboard. It's a line of text not a single character. We use this function to read successive single characters from the input and place them into the character array. So an entire line of text can be read and stored in an array. The reading is terminated when a new line character slash n is entered and the null character is inserted at the end of the string that is when I press the enter key on my keyboard that is the representation of a new line character and hash slash zero will be entered into my array here the space also can be used in the get char syntax let's see an example write a program to input a line of text from the keyboard hash include stdio.h hash include conio.h main character text 81 so my text is an array of the size 81 of the type character ch is another variable of the type character integer num is equal to 0 enter your text now this text is due the complete text is entered till the character is not equal to 0 so here I'm going to enter the total number and then put the output string also print the output string also as I go into the while loop as I don't enter the enter key it will continuously take my get character and my num will be incremented so that will count also how many characters I have inputted and then one extra so num is equal to num minus one text num is equal to slash zero so last character will be last zero and printed the output string is percentage s and text this is how it will be printed so the enter your text string handling in C as I press enter over here that will be taken as a last character and output string is string handling in C this is my output so this is how it will be done now writing a line of text printf is used to print the line of text with a percentage s format it uses an array to print the line which is ended with a null character we can also specify the precision for percentage s. Now let's see how the precision is done. Character state 15 is equal to underman and nick underman nicobar. This is the input string to my variable state. When I say printf percentage s percentage 15s, 
So 15 characters will be printed. This will be my output. Printf percentage 8s. So 8 characters will be printed if you will see. This is with the space. So space is over here. So that counts for the 8 characters. Now when I say printf percentage 15.5s. So what happens is the first 5 characters are taken and printed. So this is how my output will be there. So point 0.5 if you see specifies that out of the 15 characters I can print the 5 characters. So this 5 can be varying for how much how many characters I need to print. Now using that particular format of percentage 15.5s we have to print this output P, PR, PRO, PROG, PROGR, PROGRA and program. So hash include stdio.h, hash include kernio.h, main, int, loop1, loop2, loop two. these are two variables, character string, whatever is the size of the string will be taken as the size of str, now loop1 starts with 0, less than or equal to 6, and loop1 plus plus as I know, there are less, because I am starting from 0, so it will go till 7, loop2 is equal to loop1 plus 1, so whatever is this, this is 0 initially, so it will be this 0th location, but I want to put print the first element. So now you will see how it is, percentage minus 7 dot star s. So out of the 7 characters, loop 2, the value will be 1, so p will be printed and str. So I want the output in this direction, because what happens when I don't put minus and I put plus, it is right justified. I want the output to be left justified so we put minus 7 point star star whatever is the value of the loop will be printed at this location and that string and s is for the complete string which will be printed over here so this is how my string will be printed now let's start comparing without the functions to compare two strings we have to use a while loop till we encounter a null character in both the strings. Each string has to be compared character by character to equal to each other. The simple part of the code explains the same. Now, i is equal to 0. str of one, i and str of 2 if they are equal and till they both are not null i is equal to i plus 1 while they both are equal if any one of them have reached the end if both of them have reached the end then it is equal else the string is not equal so this is how it compares without using a function now let's see what are the various string handling functions of C the first one the important one is four important string functions that we'll be seeing strcat which concatenates to string strcmp which compares to string strcpy which copies one string over another and strlen which finds the length of the string let's take each one of them individually strcat which concatenates two string so this function is used to join two strings together in the string taxes strcat string 1 comma string 2 it copies the content of string 2 to string 1 by removing the null characters from the end of the string 1 but the contents of the string 2 remains unchanged. When we use this string cat function, we have to make one thing very sure that in the hash include, we have to include hash include string dot h. Now this is how it will work. String 1 is program ending with ha slash 0. String 2 is writing ending with slash 0. After the string cat function, string 1 becomes program writing ending with slash 0 and string 2 remains unchanged. Let's see what is the string compare function. This function compares two string identified by the argument and returns a 0 when they are equal otherwise it returns a numeric difference between the first non-matching character in the string. So the syntax is string compare string 1 and string 2. String 1 and string 2 may be string variables or string constants. So string compare name 1 name 2. Let's see how it works. String compare name 1 name 2 name 1 face string compare real real. 
Now when I'm comparing these two, the value of the mismatch is really important. String compare real with real. The first mismatch occurs at E and A. So the ASCII value of E is 101 and the ASCII value of A is 97. Thus it will give a value of 4. As the answer is not 0, the strings are not equal. Now what is string copy? This function, as the name tells, copies one string to another. So string copy, string 1, string 2. Copies the contents of string 2 to string 1. String 2 can be character variable or constant. When it copies the contents from string 2 to string 1, the contents of string 1 are overwritten. Now another important function is string length. This function counts and returns the length of a string. Len is equal to string length of string where len is an integer variable. This will be by default an integer variable which will return me the length of my string. Let's see. Write a program to find the length of the string using the string functions. Hash include stdi.h, conio.h and string.h. Main integer length character a is of the maximum size 10. Enter the string. The string is entered over here. Len is equal to str len of a. The length of the string is percentage d len. And here it comes. Enter the string. I've entered Anuradha. The length of the string is 8. This is how my string handling functions actually work for the various operations in C.